in my presentation, I, uh, I um, mentioned uh, one uh, local approach, which is a novel approach, uh, and I mentioned it because it was uh, uh, developed in my, uh, in my institution where we have a very dedicated multidisciplinary chr uh, chronic GVHD uh, team um, of um, 20 and more, more specialists for, for, for several uh, last, last years, and one of them is a dedicated ophthalmologist who um, uh, proposed uh, to use uh, an approach in our uh, patients. We have a which have a severe chronic GVG of the eye and have some contraindication for systemic immunosuppressive treatment, and that is amniotic membrane transplantation. And uh, we have published some of our results. We, we still are collecting, uh, we have more than 10 patients now that have been treated uh, like this. And it's something uh, that uh, has been used uh, in, um, in, uh, in ophthalmology, uh, in severe burns, in Steven Johnson syndrome. So it's a, it's a, it's a procedure that is known in ophthalmology. And it's very, very, very attractive because it, uh, you can use a commercial product uh, it has no HLA antigens, so um, it's usually um, uh, collected uh, at cesarean birth, uh, at childbirth, So, but it, it has no HLA antigens. Uh, it, there's no fear of rejection, and you can give it without, with, without systemic immunosuppression. So it's just a membrane, uh, usually a frozen product um, is uh, thawed and just sutured to the eye with severe chronic GVHD and it dissolves uh, in, in a week or two. This procedure can be repeated. And um, when uh, you have a patient with severe uh, eye GVHD, this is a patient which has a severely uh, um, decreased quality of life, very big problems. And it's not only the problem of, big, uh, of bad uh, quality uh, of life, it's also, um, it can be very dangerous if you have a severe uh, ulcers. Uh, it can even cause corneal perforation so uh, in very severe chronic GVHD that's a, that's a really a really big problem some patients also at the same time have contraindication for systemic immunosuppressive treatment for for threatening uh, from threatening relapse or from some um, mixed chimerism where you don't, don't don't want to increase systemic immunosuppression but at the same time they have very severe eye problems so uh, with the use of this this uh, this product um, at the eye, on the eye, you can. Uh, it has several several benefits. So first of all, uh, it's like um, it's uh, mechanical. It's like a bandage because it it prevents uh, friction of the eyes, uh, which hurts, of course, when you have an eye like this. Uh, and also, it is rich in cytokines, so um, it promotes epithelialization and. Um, it seems to have some prolonged immunological effect as, as well. We do not know the details still, but uh, in uh, now uh, 10 patients that we used, we published uh, the results of our first uh, four, four, four patients. Um, we have a prolonged uh, effect, uh, prolonged good uh, effect um, on, on the eye, and uh, we, we, we had a... Uh, situation that we did not uh, had to repeat it after a longer a longer period uh, like this amniotic membrane has some prolonged immunosuppression effect but this is of course just just uh, just uh, a theory so this is what I also wanted to stress that uh, with the multidisciplinary approach we do not just improve uh, the diagnosis because sometimes it is it is even hard to diagnose chronic GVHD uh, as some infectious complications can resemble and sometimes we really need a, a need a help of, a, of an organ specialist but with a multidisciplinary approach we also improve um, some of the um, treatments as well because some of the ideas for local treatments can can of course come only from from people who are uh, who are very involved um, uh, involved uh, in this uh, in this uh, field so this is also something which needs to be developed beside of the 
systemic treatment. Some of the promising new systemic treatments beside of ibrutinib, um, which is um, now evaluated um, in a in a phase uh, phase three uh, as uh, versus placebo as uh, addition to steroids uh, is ruxolitinib, which has just been published in a REACH two study, which has uh, shown a very uh, uh, effect to be very effective uh, in acute steroid refractory acute GVHD and the results in um, chronic GVHD in steroid refractory GVHD uh, versus best available. Uh, therapy are awaited and there are many other drugs which are in phase one phase two like uh, sick inhibitors like uh, rock 2 inhibitors which uh, which uh, stop uh, bnt cell priming there are protosome inhibitors as well uh, then there are uh, um, el2 which um, uh, which promotes um Treg expansion and many many other drugs, but also uh, beside those systemic drugs, uh, local local therapy local therapies are, are also uh, important and uh, multidisciplinary uh, approach as well.